Hey, it's Kaylee, and this video is about area multiplication with decimals, and we are going to do a simulation together and explore area with decimals, and then you get to try it out on your own. Well, let's get started. All right, so here we are in our area model decimal screen. So you'll see I have a grid here of boxes. I have um, numbers on the side that tell me my dimensions. And then over here, it will do my dimensions in my multiplication for area, which is multiplying the height by the length. And it gives me my um, product, so my total area. So let's see what we can make. Um, this box a little bit bigger and see what's going on here. So let's say um, I have this box and it's 0 0.8 in height and 0 0.6 in length here. And if I want to know what the area is, I would multiply 0 0.8 times 0 0.6 as is here for my dimensions. And it would give me an area of 0 0.48. Now that might seem a little odd to you that this number, the area is smaller than either of these, but you have to remember that area is something that is squared. So it means all like the units are different. So all of these in here are represented by this 0 0.48. And again, with this model here, I have my partitions so I can move them over. So I could break up this 0.6 into 0.3s, and let's say I could do um, 0.4s for my 0.8. And then if I clicked on my partial products here, I would see that I had 0 0.4 times 0 0.3. For each of these rectangles, I could multiply each of those individually and then add them together, and I would get the same area of 0 0.48. But quickly here, I just want to do a quick explanation of um, area with decimals because it can seem a little tricky. So I'm going to make both my dimensions one half or a half. Um, so you'll see this one, I have 0 0.5 for my height here and 0 0.5 for my length. And you realize that when I go 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, this number here, I get 0 0.25 which is half, which makes sense for multiplying. I get a half by multiplying by a half, so I get 0.25. But the interesting thing I want you to look at is since this is a half, that would mean this whole length would be one. So if I had this whole length covered and this whole length covered, I would have one by one. So I would have one square units. So my entire thing would be one. When I take half of the length and half of the height, so I go back to my 5 and 0.5 and 0.5, now I have a quarter. And you'll see it's a quarter of this entire white box is colored in. So here's a quarter, here would be another quarter, here would be another quarter, and here would be another quarter. So it's like I have one quarter of the whole when I have 0.5 times 0.5. So go ahead and play around with this. You can use the partial products. You can use the total product here um, and get a hang of it. And remember, you can use the partitions to go um, down and across, and that can help you do your math. All right, have fun, and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey. 